Right guys, I'm at the front garden. I've used my great big clippers and I've just clipped this orange tree down a bit. As you can see, there's still some oranges on there that are not ready, but we've managed to pick some. There you go. We've had a few of it before. So that's that. And we've done this olive tree here. Made it nice and round. See, and we've deadheaded our rose bush. We've done that bit over here. If you come round this way here on the left, this is a lemon tree that got diseased several times, and now it's come up again, and it looks very healthy. But we haven't had any lemons, so we're hoping next year we'll have some lemons out of that one. So that's that and now we're going to go around the back and collect our olives. So guys we've pruned this olive tree down, made it a nice ball shape and we've taken most of the olives off. We collected about three bucketfuls off just this tree and that one over there. That, that produces big olives and this one, this one's got little tiny ones, okay, they're great for olive oil. Right, so I'm just going to cut this branch off this olive tree away, because it's in the way. I've got my big clippers here, there we are, right that's in the way, and that's out the way now. Okay, just put that to one side. Right, so... Here yeah, we've missed these olives out, you see, out the back. So all you do, just pull your hand like that and they fall in the bucket. You can put a cloth or blanket or anything at the bottom of the tree to collect the olives. But just a few like this, you might as well just put your bucket underneath and pull the olives off. Just grab hold of a branch like that, yank it, and they fall off in the bucket. There you go. You can hear them falling off. They're all ready to go. These also will be donated to the guy across the road, the neighbour, who's collected loads of them, and he's going to make olive oil out of them. Now, we did get asked, can you eat them straight away? No, you can't. They're just horrible. They're hard, and they're no good. So... If you did want to eat them, you have to get a rock or a hammer and bash them open and then put them in salt water. I think it's salt water, but I'm not sure. So here you are. Easy to collect them. Okay. Show us your bucket. There's, there they are. Doesn't matter if you get loads of leaves in the bucket, because when they go to the press, they'll get cleaned before they go into the machine to press for olive oil. We've got mittens here. Hello mittens. Hello, just sleeping on the sunbed. Oh good. Well guys, we have come down to a place that we thought we're coming to but we're not here so we're in some mysterious village we don't know where we are some signs here Um, so we're going to have a walk around anyway to see exactly where we are. We Google mapped it and we've turned up at this village. I don't really know if we're at the right place. Anyway, doesn't matter. <coughs> Looks very quaint. Very nice. So we might as well go and have a look around.
Oh. Sat then. Hmm. Not sure what that says. Oh, we're in the town square. Little church and things. Let's have a look. Donis Caff Museum of Village Life. Okay. Right, let's come visit the church. Yeah. We're going to call it the Mysterious Village. And this is the Mysterious Church. It's got a sort of outdoor churchy bit. I wonder what that bit's for then. Oh, you can light some candles outdoors. Oh, that's nice. Well, let's go around here. Have a look. Oh, there's a big monastery at the top or church. See? This is really old, this one. Beautiful. carry on around this church lovely big oak tree beautiful old bell tower look at that look lovely so see if it's open let's have a look no it's not open Well, these, these are nice seats, aren't they? Kind of made of string or rope. Look, aren't they nice? Bit of view. Might see where we are. Yeah. <laughs> Quite a big village, isn't it? But it's definitely not what we we're heading for. Right. Very pretty. Now I think these are bay leaves. I'm not sure. Anyway, look at the bell tower. Right, let's go on, see if it's open. It's 
have a look it's not locked yes shut it off again right here let's carry on around and have a look Light roof. Another entrance. And this is the entrance behind the altar. Doors are always smaller, little tiny doors I have. I don't know what they're for if anyone knows, but anyway. Another entrance, should we see if this one's open? Nope. Sometimes there's a little hole, there's one there on top of the door. There, and you put your thumb or finger through and you press a little button and it lets you in well this one hasn't got that right that was a beautiful little church in our mysterious little village or town let's carry on all right which way do you think up and then round okay let's go up right. nicely refurbished all stone hello You've got yourself in a little bit of a mess, haven't you? Yes, I think I need a shower. Dolly snack bar. That's what we need to find to find the car. Coffee shops. Yeah, lovely. Hello. Hello. Nice place to live. Right, we'll head back to the car, see if we can find it in our mysterious village. Some more refurbishment going on up there. Here we are. Fancy driving down there. Yeah. Oh yeah, there are some grapes left. Oh yeah, it's loads. There you are. There you are. Loads of grapes up there. Right, we're going to try and find the car. That's the Museum of Village Life. But it's closed. A bit like this village, really. Maybe that's the whole point of it, it's closed. You don't pay to get in, it's free, but you can't get in. Oh yeah. Yeah, 
Do you think it's left? Yeah, I think it was left, wasn't it? Mm -hmm. Okay. Right, back in the cute little town square. Oops. Not the church. We have to do a left. So the truck just come back from the fields. Sorting out his produce. Hello. Just getting ready to go to market. Big peaches, Zivania. Oh, look, there's the car. Oh, made it back. <laughs> 